Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz with Terry. Today we are having a quick look at a new tech tree line that is upcoming. And these are, I believe, called Pan American Cruisers. So what have we got there? Well, the first thing I'm going to say is I was wrong, because I think someone in the comments actually said, oh yeah, on the special thing about the Pan American Cruisers on PC, yeah, the combat instructions. And I said, yeah, it's not going to happen in Blitz, because if it can't be implemented as a ship skill, uh, then it's usually not really happening. Well, turns out <laughs> it is. So we have a full on tech tree line of, well, probably mostly South American light cruisers. And um, the first thing I noticed is the flag. And I'm mildly miffed by that. I do hope they fix that. Because can you please put the right national flags on these ships? I mean, there are South American nations that might have had these ships. Some of these might have actually existed. I haven't looked into any of them yet. But um, I think they'd much be preferring to see actually their own flags, sim similar to what we're doing on the Pan-Asian lines. They also have their own national flags. So hopefully that's still coming. But uh, yeah, we've got a full line. So what's it about that new ship skill that you then mentioned? Well, I think it actually starts in the very beginning at tier 2. No, actually not at tier 2. But what we can see at tier 2 is the ship specialty. So that's a another thing. Uh, these things get the emergency repair, which means that uh, they uh, recover an additional 20% hit points from repair kits. So that's good to know. And I think it's tier 3 where we start. Yes, at tier 3 we start seeing the ship skill, which is, bada boom tish, the combat instruction. Which is a new way, a new mechanic that has been introduced. And I, I am honestly pleasantly surprised that this happened. But yeah, this is a new mechanic. So how does this work? Uh, it's basically a charge up special. So you need to land 30 shell in this case, 30, sh uh, 30 shells on target, and then it's charged up and then you can use it. And then for 20 seconds, you get 10% dispersion and 10% uh, penetration power buff for 20 seconds. So for a couple of salvos which is really quite nice and you, you can choose when you use it so once it's charged up it's charged up and then it's up to you to say okay i want to use it or i'm going to save it for later it is not a one-off so after you've used it once and uh, after you've charged it up once used it then it charges up again going forward and there are also multiple levels of them which aren't quite indicated by icon but this is the entry level one which gives 10 percent for 20 seconds for 30 hits i think uh, if we're looking a little bit if we're looking, if we're going to look a little bit higher, then um, we're getting 20%. And 20% dispersion is almost a precise M1. And 20% uh, shell penetration power sounds quite nice as well for 20 seconds. And if we look all the way up to tier 10, I don't know if we still get anything better than that. But uh, we are, yeah, 30%. So that's, uh, that's good already. And the 30% 30, 30 shell penetration power. Now this all sounds very this all sounds very exciting. It um, it's effectively a precise aim that you're getting and uh, somewhere between precise aim one and two probably and uh, you you do get the shell penetration power but uh, even the tier 10 is having 150 millimeter guns so don't get too excited <laughs> you're not getting the 30 percent penetration on a battleship caliber gun these are relatively small guns but as we can see we are getting uh, aa ships again which is nice so an aa line with um uh, with a radar at the higher tiers and with an improved repair i think from a very cursory look uh, the the lower tiers seem to be mostly british ships and I think starting at tier 8, we are seeing American light cruisers-ish <laughs> that, uh, uh, that make, them all, make it all the way up to tier 10. So, uh, yeah, what else, what else is new? Well, let's have a very brief look at the tier 10. Just that I'm not even going to play the ship. I haven't even tested the ship. I just want to see how, how she would compare to... I'm obviously going to have to put her in here how she would compare to, uh, let's say, the Worcester, because I think this is meant to be some form of Worcesterish thing, but uh, we'll, we'll, we will see. I just want to see how uh, how the two compare. So, 
you obviously get the sort of precise aim combat instruction thing. You get the same defensive AA as the Worcester, you get the same radar as the Worcester, but you're not getting the sonar instead. But you do get an improved heal. In, uh, in terms of a hull, it looks relatively similar. Uh, you don't get quite the same fire flooding resistance, that's the American specialty. The maneuverability, however, seems to be on the poor side. And that, I think, is a theme throughout the line, that they're not quite as maneuverable. So you do get light cruisers that are uh, that are getting a better heal, but uh, pay for it with poorer maneuverability. So this is sort of the British <laughs> British battle cruiser uh, factor here. And the guns, yeah, there's something special about these guns because, as you can see, while you almost get Worcester reload, and uh, you, you don't get as many guns as Worcester, but you also get only AP shells. So you get the British light cruiser behavior in here. In return, however, you do get torpedoes. So these, these things come with torpedo launchers. And if you look at the AA, it's, it's good. It's not, it's not quite as good as Worcester, but it's still a pretty decent AA. So uh, we're, building a, we're building up a line towards we're, we're building up a line of ships uh, that are light cruisers, torpedo armed light cruisers with a, with, with, a, with a precise aim that you can charge up and with a well, let's put her in and uh, with a pretty good AA but poorer maneuverability than their gen than general counterparts and they have to pay for it with uh, oh, they sort of which sort of gets balanced out with an improved heal how much that is going to be worth balancing out i'm not so sure <laughs> because um improved heal or not that's a light cruiser so I i'm very curious to see how these will be playing at higher tiers uh, i have very briefly tested the tier 7 and again, I'm not doing a full review on it. I just want to want to show you a little bit of what's going on in, in, in game there. But I uh, briefly looked at the tier 7. And uh, this thing also has a... Yeah, I've got it down to a 7 second turn, turn time, which is, which is quite manageable. But uh, it is a very light cruiser. And uh, not as squishy as the Pan-Asian lines, but uh, relatively easy to take down if you're not careful. So I think this is an interesting take on things in general. So we've got a mix of uh, sort of British behavior with AP only light cruiser, AP only torpedo light cruisers uh, that are, uh, that that have, a, have an improved heal. And we've got the American light cruiser factor in here with a good AA and radars at higher tiers, but no sonars. And instead, uh, in return, we do get torpedoes, but obviously no smoke screens. And we have the charge up, uh, better like temporary precise aim skill plus better penetration now how much the better penetration is going to be doing for the 150s is debatable we'll see about that but uh, yeah i was uh, i was kind of curious because i am by i am in my heart a light cruiser player and a support cruiser player so i'm very excited about this and uh, we will see we'll see how well these hold up at uh, at higher tiers and what the the lower tiers are are going to be able to do for us. I'm going to be assuming that there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a, an event of some sort for the preview, and you can get through and you can get yourself some tech tree ships. But uh, eventually, usually two months, two to three months after the event ends, you will, we will get the tech tree as a normal grindable tech tree. So uh, yeah, the only thing hopefully they can fix the flag. But yeah, we have the. Uh, I'm assuming that's called that's pronounced Coronel Bolognese, but I might be wrong there. Uh, what what is this ship? Uh, it's a Crown Colony. It's a Crown Colony class cruiser, so definitely a British cruiser. Uh, we do have the uh, uh, precise uh, the the Def A2, and uh, we do have kind of the common cruiser cruise, cruiser elite bonuses here. The guns are a little bit on the slow side to traverse, so. Uh, either way, either one of them is improving that here for you. But I actually have, uh, I actually have put in right now, put in the main battery mod two, 
Uh, I think I am like after after playing a couple of rounds, I would probably instead uh, be using the main match mode one because the turret traverse is a, is a bit on the slow side, especially if you're dogfighting with destroyers. Uh, and even with that, you're getting up to twelve to almost thirteen degrees only, so it's not a huge amount. Uh, other than that, standard setup. So uh, we have a light typical light cruiser. F feels like a British light cruiser. We've got uh, 952mm guns with AP only. And we've got two triple launchers uh, on torpedoes. No single, no single fire torpedoes. And we've got decent amount of AA for, nah, for tier 7, maybe. But we do have a defensive AA we can use in a case. And we've got a good surface detection. So uh, I think there are going to be potential builds here with using concealment. Does she get the concealment? Yes, she does. Uh, there... Uh, there are potential builds here with concealment, but um, uh, w one thing that I'm not too certain about is this massive flat side here that looks almost French. And I think these will be, if they get, sh th these, these will be reacting very badly to being shot at. Now, I only have one commander, <laughs> which is the epic commander here on the, <laughs> on the South American. You know what? I'm going to call it South American because even the flag is showing it's South American. Well, well, it's unfair to the Central Americans, but we'll see if there's any, any Central American ships in there. Uh, setup wise, I'll probably at first glance uh, do a very standard cruiser setup uh, with, uh, with a defensive AA focus and with uh, HP focus because you do get more hit points from the heels. So there's, there's definitely a chance in here that uh, you can kind of reinforce that, especially if you were using premium repair kits. So uh, there might be... And you don't really need the other skills at this uh, at this place because the while it acts as a precise aim, it's not a precise aiming skill. So these, these skills here are not going to do anything for you. So that's that. All right, uh, so that much for a very, very brief overview of the line. I will do, in the coming weeks, I will actually review the respective ships and do proper reviews and actually research what, research a bit about South American navies because this is not an, an area that I'm particularly familiar with. So I'm looking forward to uh, finding some interesting stories. But I'm assuming that anything beyond probably Tier 5 or 6 is going to be hypothetical, but we'll find out as we go. Anyway, for now, let's head out in the uh, Coronel Bolognese. And again, I am comp I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing this. I haven't even looked uh, who, who that was that she was named after. And we find ourselves being top tier in uh, base capture and hourglass against Isa, Nelson, Nuremberg, Akatsuki, Mahan, another Akatsuki, and Gajamada. So plenty of destroyers here. And I am very happy to, <laughs> to announce that I am in a light cruiser. Uh, and the ESA might be sending a plane or two. We'll find out if we can use the AA. But uh, right now, I am in my element. I am a support cruiser. And uh, destroyer hunting is what I'm doing for a living. And uh, if you're playing in a destroyer, be aware that uh, these things don't have HE preloaded because they don't shoot HE. So treat them like British light cruisers with uh, uh, even in higher tiers. And uh, be, be careful. <laughs> All right, so we've got two turrets, for, two super firing turrets forward. We've got good torpedo angles, and uh, bottom left you see the uh, you see the the precise aim penetration skill thing, which isn't charged up yet. So we're going to need to hit something to charge that up, and then we can actually use it. I'm slowing down here a little bit, uh, giving the uh, Moynihan some space to to scout with four enemy destroyers. Well, we'd, we'd better spread out. And, uh, but there's something bound to come down through this channel here. So I'm just waiting for Moynihan to, to catch up and, uh, and, and do some scouting and then have some unpleasant surprises for them. Okay, and there's the Akatsuki. So uh, let's start off with that thing and see how the guns handle. And uh, that's, uh, that's not terrible. It's, uh, it's definitely workable. Dispersion can be a little hit and miss, but again, that's where the skill comes in. But penetration so far already is, is very good. And uh, no problems at all doing full pens on an, on an enemy Akatsuki. Dispersion, yeah, it's a bit meh. But uh, again, well, tier 7. <laughs> well, it's workable and the reload is fast enough that it really does, is not so much of a problem. Okay, Akatsuki got through and uh, there's the Gajamada. So you do need to get a little closer. Uh, just be aware that you have neither neither sonar nor, nor radar. So uh, 
That's where it gets. And there was a destroyer on our left briefly. So I'll get back to you, good sir, in a minute. I, I am. Uh, I'm just going to duel with these guys here. Akatsuki is now, I think, low enough on hit points that uh, someone can take him out. So let's duel the Gaja. And that's where the forward turret comes in. And uh, we'll just dodge some torpedoes that are inevitably incoming. Yep, there comes the first spread. Gaja gets two, so there's going to be a second coming. And uh, that means we are going to... Yep, there, come, there comes second spread coming out. I would have thought he'd drop on my other side, but uh, now he's running away, <laughs> as he should. And uh, I'm not going to go chasing after him, because there was a destroyer spotted on the left side. And yeah, like I said, support cruiser player here. <laughs> I tend to notice these things. And I'm pretty certain he's going to go for the capture circle. So I've got the Gaja on relatively low hit points. He hasn't achieved anything. And I'm now going to hunt that destroyer that went down the left flank and is probably heading for our capture circle. So Moynihan has made it all the way to the enemy cup. But um, not relying on, on us capping out. Uh, each team's lost the destroyer so far. This can totally still go either way. Okay, Zara has taken out the Mayhem. Yeah, and there come the torpedoes. That gives me a good indication where he is. So he's, yeah, he's definitely heading for the capture circle. So uh, unfortunately, I do not have a sonar. So I do need to be a little careful about incoming torpedoes. But my uh, precise aim thingy is almost... My co combat instruction is almost uh, is almost charged up. Okay, and he's in the capture circle. Okay, I know where you are. You're cupping. And uh, I knew you were going to be here. Yep, no, I'm not going that way. Because you're in the capture circle. <laughs> I know where you are. <laughs> and uh, I just have to be a little careful with the battleships uh, there. And uh, drop, uh, dropping dropping anything on me. But there's that Akatsuki. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I've paid attention. Good attempt. Good attempt, I'll give you that. Uh, good attempt, but no, nah, that's not happening. And now my uh, my combat instruction is fully charged, so I can actually use that and uh, and get myself better dispersion and penetration. So let's activate that and get. And there, there you see the dis difference that makes in dispersion. So uh, <laughs> woohoo! <laughs> I am liking that. Uh, the penetration, however, means that I'm actually starting to over penetrate the Akatsuki if I'm uh, hitting hitting her in the uh, in the stern section. So. Uh, I'm actually going to have to be reasonably... Uh, you're going to have to be reasonably accurate if you activate that against destroyers at close uh, plant plank ranges and make sure that you hit them in the in the middle where the well, I'm in belt armor is. But yeah, that hasn't worked, Akatsuki. I haven't seen any Iza planes. Maybe Iza doesn't know he has planes. But uh, let's go up against a couple of battleships and uh, and see what, uh, what the AP is able to do uh, at long range. It's not bad, actually, honestly. I mean, uh, you obviously want to target weak spots, but uh, the default dispersion is kind of meh. So I am trying to, uh, I'm trying to align with the stern section of the Isa, but honestly, uh, not really happening. And yep, he's he's slowing down, I think, or is he accelerating? I'm not sure. But uh, the thing with light cruisers is, yeah, no, if you miss, you get to try again. <laughs> and I think the Moynihan is currently capping. And yeah, I'll, I will wear the Isa down eventually. I do have torpedoes still, and he has spotted me, and he's shooting armor piercing at me to his credit. <laughs> so, uh, well done. So do have, we do have to be very careful. But my my combat instruction is almost recharged. So let's get some torpedoes away again. Ah, he's slowing. Is he turning? I think he's turning. Uh, yeah, he is turning away. But uh, let's get our let's get our combat instruction up, and uh, get improved improved dispersion and penetration. And uh, almost there. There we go. Combat instruction up. So let's see what we do now uh, with the uh, uh, penetration wise. And that looks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that looks. I, I haven't gotten a lot of shells on target, but that looked pretty decent. Uh, we've still got Nelson over there. I've got to swing my guns around. This was still without the um, without the uh, the turret rotation. Okay, he's actually turning away. Uh, without the turret rotation improvement but uh, yeah this is not bad I think if you go for like, if you go for manual aim and um, with the improved penetration you might be able to get uh, deck pens on battleships and similar things otherwise uh, just just do the same thing you would be doing in a British destroyer and uh, just just aim for the bower stern section and uh, and just do full penetration there you don't need the um, improved skill to make that happen anyway so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling right at home with this ship, and uh, so far, uh, that's uh, it's a, it's a, looks like a good line, 
it's an interesting interesting new aspect with the combat instructions and a lot more testing will have to be done to see what difference that makes uh, you know with APCS and with the in the higher tiers against uh, which target uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if you can start citadeling some some other cruisers with this thing if you get uh, if you get that uh, if you get that activated and yes obviously you're going to be extremely precise as well so uh, I would be keen to see if you can do things like uh, deck armor penetration citadels. It's light cruisers, so they're not going to do a huge amount of additional damage, but uh, it might be quite interesting to to shoot things off at the higher tiers, depending on uh, how well the base, how good the base dispersion is, because you do get, I think it was 30% or something, if you activate it at higher tiers. And uh, the more guns you have, and the more, uh, the faster reload, obviously, well, the more shells you get on target, the earlier you you enable that combat instruction so interesting concept and uh, i'm keen to explore it more i will like i said do reviews of the actual ships as we go through the line but i just wanted to give you a, an overview of what's coming and a quick first impression of these kind of ships and that's it for me today thanks everybody and i will see you next time Bye bye